Hello everybody, I do hick here, and well, as you may have already noticed, this video is quite different from the others. So, um, well, let me just start off with talking about why it is different. So today, um, well first off, it's Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King is an amazing person and it's also nice to have a day off but I was also trying to do an entire day without playing any computer games or that sort of thing so I found myself a bit bored and I thought I'd get back into my Warhammer it's a miniature game my Warhammer stuff now I stopped um, so this video is me assembling one miniature is a crude mercenary and painting him. It took me, I don't know, about two and a half hours with also the paint drying and stuff. But um, I stopped doing Warhammer stuff about 10 months ago. I also happened to be around the same time I started playing TF2. But I think that was mainly because I realized just, I don't know, it's it's quite expensive, and I didn't really want to be spending large amounts of money that way. So, um, I guess I'll start talking about the, uh, the painting bit of this. So, to start out, I use the, um, I do a ba <coughs> ah, a base coat of white. I don't really use primer because I found that it goes on too thick. But I primarily use washes to um to do my painting. So first I do the base coat of white and then I put on a couple layers of washes. Um I found that the I, I, I use the Citadel washes and for most of the paint I get like a couple of the base colors like the blue green or blue red and yellow the primary colors and mix my own colors if if I'm if I'm doing something like an entire army with one color or well I've I've never painted an entire army but if I'm doing a lot of things the same color, I will buy like that one color. Anyway, but um, it's the the washes I use are the um. It I I I used to make my own washes, but now I use the Citadel washes because th uh, they have certain chemicals that, or whatever whatever you want to call them, that actually make them a lot more useful. So I first dry brush on the metal colors and then I go over white for like to make corrections cuz I'm a pretty sloppy dry brusher. But the washes I use um on the crew I use a um for like the armor, leather, whatever you want to call it. I used a mix of the Agrax Earthshade and a uh just normal paint and then for the spikes hair head spikes whatever you want to call them i use the beel tan green i also use the beel tan green for my orcs and so going back to why i stopped doing warhammer um i would like create a sample orc army i'd be like oh yeah i'll make this orc army and be really cool and i have like i don't know something like 300 boys because that's what you gotta do you just gotta swarm them with orc boys and then there are like 10 in a box for $30. So I'm looking at like $900 just for Orc Boys. So if anyone from Games Workshop is watching this, please just hear what I just said. And so TF2 is free to play. So that's easy entertainment. But um, yeah, I've I've thought about getting back into Warhammer, but then I've 
I I mainly just enjoy the painting part. Playing is fun too, but you have to have the miniatures for those for that. And proxies just aren't quite the same. Anyway, so um if all you watching this I hope you at least enjoyed it seeing kind of hearing about the um just watching watching the painting and hearing about the painting and whatever and so with that I'll see y'all on flirp to flirp